Okay, in the last one we resolved a few bugs and now we're ready to carry on with the regular development again. In this one what I want to do is start working on this heart uh, animation here. So if I double click on it, it will turn into a heart and also as you can see down here it added my name to the list of people who liked it. And if you double click it again, it removes the heart and it also removes my name from the list down there. This isn't the actual, this is the actual test app, just so you know. Don't get worried, don't panic, we're going to go through everything. Uh, so this is the actual one here, the one that we've been working on together. And there, this doesn't do anything right now, so we're going to start working on that heart animation in this one. So uh, I know originally we had kind of just like an image, an image view of a heart here, but we're actually going to make an, a vector image of it now. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to make a vector image of the red heart and also a vector image of the white heart. So go into our drawables and just go and right click, go to new drawable resource. Actually, I think I already made one for the red. Let's see. Yeah, vector red heart. So we had the one for the red. So let's just copy the red one and paste it into our drawables file. And I'm going to change this to uh, vector heart white. And then we just got to change the fill color to, whoops, to white. And we also need to add a border for this because, as you can see, if you put this on a white background, you wouldn't be able to see anything. But if we add a border, then we will actually be able to see something. Or it'll appear to look like we can see something. So do stroke width, which is going to be the border width. We just do 0 0.5. And then we want to set the stroke color. So stroke color. And the color is going to be black. And so there we have our little heart. Now we want to make another file. So let's go up to, uh, oh, I actually already have a red one, so we can copy it. Let's open up this red one. We're going to do basically the same thing with the white one. So just going to highlight over IC heart red, copy it, paste it into drawables, and we're going to go IC heart white, and close the project pane. And then we just need to change this to IC heart white. And there's our white heart. So we have our red heart, and we have our white heart. Okay, so there's our heart. Now we're going to go into our layout. So go into uh, layout, go layout, view post, and let's set that heart image view. Let's see. So go down here, and we can see that we can now change this to heart white. And let's make this nice and big and zoom in and take a look to see what it looks like. So there we go. There's our new heart. Okay, so now we have our, we have our heart. Now we're going to work on making the toggle animation. So I'm just going to actually close everything, go into the project pane, uh, close the layouts, close drawable, and let's go into the view post fragment. And actually I just noticed something. So for some reason I didn't put this in the utility classes, but I should have. So I'm just going to copy view post fragment, hover over utils, paste it in there, hit OK. And now I'm going to delete that view post fragment. There we go. And we'll probably have some issues. Uh, looks okay. Okay, so just go into view post fragment and we can close the project pane. And I'm just going to make a simple method and I'm going to call it, uh, it's going to be for toggling the heart. So private void, uh, let's just call it test toggle. And this is where we're going to put in our toggle for the heart. First declare the image views for the hearts. Oh, well, it looks like I already did that. So image heart red or image heart, that's great. So now inside of test toggle here, I want to attach on click listeners to the hearts themselves. So let's go, uh, I guess, image view, or the heart red, and then set on, we're going to use a set on touch listener, and then new on touch listener. And then we're also going to use one for the white heart. So set on touch listener new untouched listener and we need to also declare a detector for these motions and that's going to be a gesture detector object so let's go up to the very top and we're going to create a new global variable so private gesture detector and I'm just going to call it m gesture detector and then inside of on create here just below so we're going to do gesture detector equals new gesture detector and then we use get activity for the context and inside here, I'm going to pass a uh, gesture listener, but I haven't created it yet. So don't click, uh, don't click enter on that default interface there. We're going to create a new class for that's going to be custom made to fit our needs. So I'm just going to call it gesture listener. So let's go down just below on create. Actually, we'll go below our test toggle here. So we'll go public 
class gesture listener and then it's going to extend gesture detector dot simple gesture listener and inside of here we're going to implement a couple override methods so I'm just going to press control O and the first one is going to be on down grab that one and then control O again and the second one is going to be on double tap because to leave a like uh, you need to double tap so that's what we're interested in and for now we're not going to put anything special in here but when the time comes this is where we're going to put our queries for our database where we're going to add the likes or remove the likes if the person has already liked it okay so now we actually need to create a method for toggling the like itself because right now uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in here I'm going to call test toggle when on create starts it's going to attach the on click listeners the on touch listeners for the heart and then we still actually need a way to toggle it though to actually toggle it and one thing I actually forgot to do was inside of here what we want to return is actually our gesture detector and then say on touch event and then pass the event and that's going to be the same thing for the other return statement right here so to handle the toggle itself, we're going to create a separate new object class. So let's open up our project pane, go to the utils package, right click, go to new, and I'm just going to call this heart. And this is where we're going to keep everything we need to handle the toggling. So we'll start by getting our tag, just like we always do. And we're going to need to get two image view widgets, which is going to be the, the white and also the red heart. So let's do heart white and heart red and then we're going to use a default constructor whoops alt insert default constructor and both of those things there and then we just need a method so we'll go public void void toggle like and it doesn't need to take anything and we're just going to log that we're actually toggle toggling it so toggling heart and this is where we'll actually handle the toggle. But this video is already getting close to too long already, so I'm gonna stop it here, and in the next one, we'll write all the code for doing the heart toggle animation, and then we'll test it. So I'll see you in that next video.